Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Terra Firmacraft, and we're going to start this episode off with something a bit special, except that I forgot I didn't quite have enough supplies for it, just a bit short, so it'll only be a second, we'll only have to chop down a single tree to be able to get this done. But for those of you who already know how to play Terra Firmacraft, you could probably tell what I'm doing, and yeah, um, I'm partially doing this series as a bit of a tutorial for new players, um, but again, I'm pretty new myself, and yeah, and I just thought our first charcoal pit should be something you guys should be here for. Um, future ones, not so much, because they, you don't have to make a lot of them, but they get kind of tedious and repetitive. Anyways, let's chop down this maple tree. And we should have enough wood to finish our little project over there. Been getting supplies ready to go on a caving expedition. I've gotten a couple. Got two stacks of torches. Well, that was not a lot of wood. It's, it's enough, though. So, what we need here is we need a fire starter. And I just get scared when grass sound effects sound off and there's no mob sounds. I always think it's a creeper. So, we're going to need to. Maybe wondering why I have a bunch of piles of logs covered with partially covered fur, and why I'm starting a fire in the middle of them. Well, for those of you who don't know, um, we had to make charcoal a long time ago for smithing and metalworking. And how do we do that? Um, we did that by getting piles of wood and building a fire in them and cutting off their supply of oxygen. Making meaning that oh god, this is why you want it covered up really quickly. Um, I was not prepared. There we go, and yeah, first time I did this, it did not flare up so quickly, it only flared up in one spot. I did catch fire though, I have not made one of these yet without being set on fire. <laughs> just goes to show you what to expect from the series. Anyways, now that's done with, uh, it'll be about 18 hours or so, and then when we come back, this wood will be converted into charcoal. So it's about one Minecraft day, and yeah. I'll be doing some caving until then, and... Yeah, I'll cut it here, and I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, I was on my way to head down to the caves, and I decided to check our orchards really quickly. And it looks like our small little orchard here is actually going to have some uh, fruit ready for us to harvest when it when it comes in season. Um, a few of these trees are flowering. I th I'm pretty sure these are the cherry trees. Um, wait, no. These... I'm not sure what trees these are. I think these are apple trees. Yeah, these are apple trees. These are the cherry trees. Um, I think that's the peach tree. And these are the green apples. I'm pretty sure the green apples... Don't bloom till later. And one, some, some of these are lemon trees as well. I honestly can't tell anymore from these flowers. Um, I know these are the cherry trees, though. Obviously, we had the extremely pink flowers. I think this is the peach. Those. Some of those are lemons, and some of these might be apple. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I'm going to cut it here. And, um, ooh, nice, consider it. And I think the caves will actually be in a montage fashion or just sped up. And yeah, so I'll see you guys after we're done caving.
Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, while we were down caving, um, I did some mining and had shit for luck. Got a chipped emerald, but that's it. Anyways, um, we got a shit ton of andesite. And, uh, if you notice, there's something odd with our, uh, with our coal pile. So, to harvest coal, you need the charcoal, you need a shovel. And we put coal quite a bit in there. Normally normally these things collapse quite a bit when they're done. But if they're full they won't collapse at all. And we, as you can see we barely collapsed. So bit of a landslide right there. Now you can see it's not a one hundred percent um output. You're not getting in what you put it getting out what you put in, but you're getting quite a lot still. And just to show you an example of how much we got with all that, uh, almost all of those log valves are full. They're all filled, all four slots to some extent. Now we won't be needing this charcoal for a while, for a little while actually, because we don't have any ore to use with, use with it. Oh, that was close. But it was good. It's good to gather it now. You can't really walk on it. It's a bit buggy that way. But it's good to get it now, because it does take some time, and when you do need it, you need tons of it. So we're actually going to have to make another shovel, because that used a lot more than I thought. And is the sun setting? Well, this area is kind of safe. Fuck. <laughs> I screwed that up, I think. Um, another tip, if you don't want to get your inventory cluttered with those little block things, you can just shift-click, and it automatically gets rid of them. But yeah, each of these yields several several coal, charcoal. So yeah, you're getting quite a bit. Now there are some bu people reporting bugs where this disappears sometimes after a while. Um, I don't. Hopefully, it still doesn't do that. I don't think it should. But um, yeah. So this should still be a decent form of storing it. You can actually make these and then harvest it as you need it. Store it. Use it as um, bulk storage. Otherwise. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of charcoal in here. Now, with SMP, sometimes you'll get small. Um, if you don't have a lot of wood in the pile, it'll spawn invisible ch um, pieces of charcoal. that only have one piece in them. Like if there's a single, if there's only like one or two logs in the pile, it'll um, spawn these little mini ones, and you'll get stuck on them. Yeah, it can be quite a pain in the ass sometimes, but it's not a real problem. Just ho hope you have a shovel, because. I was an idiot one time and jumped into the middle of it and couldn't get out and my friend had to dig out the charcoal for me to escape. But yeah, you can only harvest it with a shovel, so make sure you have one. Otherwise you're just wasting a ton of resources. God damn, there's a lot I didn't expect this much. The type you saw me build is what's considered the most the efficient uh charcoal pit. It doesn't require a whole lot to cover for the output you get. And you get pretty sizable output. I mean, look at all this. Now, we can't use this to make torches or anything, unfortunately. Um, we still have to cook them in the fire pit, but we could use it for several uh, other important things, which includes melting copper and other ores extremely fast, using a forge. Well, not forge a bloomery. We can't make it actually, and we could also use it to fuel a forge. And yeah, so the forge allows us to work metals really fast. But we can make the forge now. We can't make the bloomery though, because we need a chisel to make a certain block, and then we use that certain block to make the rest. And wow, I'm gonna have to go through another shovel. Damn. Yeah, a couple stacks. That's a good output. So those of you who've made the, made these charcoal pits before, um, pro probably can tell about how much wood I actually put in this by the output I'm getting. Um, I haven't played that enough to do, know that yet, but um, yeah, it's about I think it's four logs for every coal or so. Um, maybe four, maybe two. 
But yeah, you're you're not getting 100% output, that's for sure. But that stuff's so useful, and it's pretty easy to make. Once you get a metal axe or saw, and um, get a scythe to get sticks and all that stuff easily, this doesn't become a, this isn't a problem at all because you're able to farm trees incredibly fast. And then when you're able to farm trees incredibly fast, you're able to farm charcoal pretty quickly too. So just shy of three stacks. That is plenty, actually. That's that's we're set for ages with this much. How the hell did you spawn over here? This area is supposed to be lit. Come here. Shank your ass. King Jaws, motherfucker. It's the only dark area that I really see that they could get over here from. Anyways, um, I had no luck mining in the cave, um, despite there being tons of, uh, considerite in this area. Bro, I want to go exploring too much of night. I mean, Ninja Creeper right there hiding in the leaves. But yeah, considerite threw out, and copper threw out all this area, and I mined that direction, and I went pretty deep down, and nothing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the rest of my pickaxe, and just dig a, find, um, a area where the ore is really concentrated and just dig pretty much straight down to it. If I'm lucky I'll be able to gather enough considerite for a prospector's pick before um, before I go down too so I'll actually be able to hunt for that stuff. Those of you who weren't paying attention this is in the cave we explored well we haven't really explored but I explored it um, off camera it's not entertaining it just goes down like a hundred blocks that way and then straight into straight shot basically the hell is my boat doing out there oh motherfucker thought something moved it you know what no the, this bitch fucked with my boat he's getting killed with my bare motherfucker he's getting killed with my bare hands You don't fuck with my boat. You don't fuck with my boat, bitch. You wanna fuck with my boat? You get fucked up. That's right. That's right, get fucked up. Bitch. Nice. Free bow. Oh, what? No enchantment? Lame. Bitch didn't even have a good bow. Yeah, um, pretty much the only way you're gonna get an enchanted, um, weapon or item in this game is to have it dropped with this mod. As you can see, our crops have grown quite a bit too. I've been leaving the server running when I'm not playing. So, it grows quite a bit. Where is that zombie? Probably up above us. So we're gonna store our crummy little javelins. As I, <coughs> as I sneeze. This one there, this one there. Apparently there's a little bug where they're able to stack and fix the damage or transfer the damage and stuff. It's weird. But yeah, so all we got out of that was a chipped emerald. Um, one of the apple trees grew back earlier, and um, grew a branch earlier, and I grabbed that. So completely useless um, for now. Hopefully they'll have a use eventually, because I like I like emeralds. Emeralds are awesome. Emeralds are my favorite gem. Wait, why do I have these mob drops in here? They're not supposed to be in here. They're not supposed to be in there. We got lots of eggs, so these are a good food source. Um, chickens produce them regularly. Uh, only female chickens, though, of course. Um, damn, that bow's getting a bit frayed. I think we're gonna put it in there and use it as a repair later. God damn, I had two stocks of arrows when I went in there, too. That's crazy. So, I think we're gonna store this charcoal here. Let's see, his, I look kind of... Eh, my armor's still good. Don't need to repair it quite yet. And, wow, we're running out of storage. 
I think I'll start tossing some of these rocks now. We don't really need them. Yeah, it's not like we're building much. So, yeah. I think we'll just toss them in this little... This little water area over here. Goodbye, useless materials. Let's see. Um, yeah, not much else going. Not much else to really talk about right now. Um, I'm gonna try looking for ore. We can't really do much till there. We're pretty much bottlenecked. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm actually gonna end it off here. We've got carry command, we've got mission downloading in the background while this is going on. Just released. And I might play some Planet Side 2 later. Um, so yeah, next time I see you, it's um, hopefully have some more metal. Um, hopefully, if not, I'm not really sure what the episode will be about. But yeah, um, that's, that's all. I'll see you guys next time.